What's going on folks? We've got some crazy new leaks these past few days, so let's let's just get right into it. Starting off, we've got this World Championship 2023 Pikachu EX card. If you look down here, there's a we're oh cool the thing it's zooming in on the wrong or it uh the text text appeared over the thing. But it says World Championships 2023. It's a Japanese Pikachu EX alt art style card. Gonna be some sort of promo they give out for the World Championships. Um, I don't know what the English version is gonna look like if we're gonna be able to access this promo or if it's indeed like the only World Championship card they give out with the stamp, then it might be the same card in English, but you can only get it if you attend the World Championships, which, you know, they're, they're hard to get into. Um, the cards, the promos themselves that they give out end up going for like hundreds of dollars because they're just so exclusive. So, I don't know, everyone's really gonna want these. Hopefully, they're more accessible than just the uh, few hundred people that show up to Worlds. But yeah, cool Pikachu art. Got the Maridon, the Koridon, beautiful stuff. Guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure exactly where this information was leaked to, but Poke Beach has it, and we use Poke Beach a lot for our news, so it exists here, and uh, that's about all I know right now. Next up, we got the Mew EX Alt Art from Pokemon 151. Now, I, I was expecting a Mew EX Alt Art, so uh, there you go. Lovely little card. Love the uh, colors of it too. The pinks, it's looking real nice. Uh, to go beside it, we can take a look at the regular Mew EX. So yeah, just uh, some nice stuff. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this alt art. It's solid. I like it. I'm going to collect it. Maybe it's not my favorite, but it's I, I like the idea of it. It's cute for sure. So yeah, pretty sweet. I'm still calling Alakazam alt art. We're going to have to see. I think that would be really cool. So we'll just have to stay tuned for that. Uh, 151, the new Japanese set is coming out this Friday, June 16th. We haven't even seen all the cards from it yet, but most of them are leaked. One new leaked one that we've seen this morning is the Machoke Art Rare. Got a bunch of Machokes helping uh, some people move into their house. Pretty cute card, I like it. Hopefully there's a few more Art Rares still to come. I'm not sure the exact count, so this could be it or there could be more. Hopefully there's a few more. But yeah, lovely art. And then we've also got a Blastoise EX Full Art, so that's pretty cool. Pretty solid looking one, the uh, Full Arts, they're gonna be spicy. We had the Alt Arts as well for the three starters, so obviously those are gonna be the chases, but who doesn't want a Full Art of some of the starters? Good stuff, good stuff. Next up, some new Crown Zenith products. I, d I thought the Zaki and Zamazentum or Pico boxes were like the end of Crown Zenith, but Apparently there's an unknown and a Lugia collection. So basically you get this box, it has five packs, a Lugia pin, a jumbo card, a uh, coin, and then it comes with a Lugia V, which uh, I guess this was a promo in Japanese originally. And it also comes with an unknown V. So these are uh, pretty solid. Yeah, both of them were promos. I don't think they were in Paradigm Trigger or anything, um, but yeah. So like a solid box, they're not the craziest promos, they look cool, but the regular V cards aren't like the greatest, they're not EXs, they're not textured, I don't know. They're fine, I might have to collect them anyway, because I love Unknown, love Lugia, but yeah. Uh, then Poke Beach also showed some cards that made it to the Japanese sets that didn't make it to the English sets, so some honorable mentions that hopefully we get to see. There was a uh, Jirachi V. I'm not sure exactly. I think this might have been Astral Radiance, because that's where we had the Jirachi V Full Art. Um, this just never made it to English. So sad. I'm actually a huge Jirachi fan, so that would have been really cool. Uh, another big heater, the Lucario V-Star Rainbow. Never saw its way into the English sets. I don't know if it's going to be a promo at some point. Hopefully it is, but we're like kind of deep into Gen 9 now, so it's, uh, it's tough to say. Lovely card, uh, the Lucario collectors out there. I don't know, it's a tough one, hopefully we see it. Then there's some other cards, I'm not gonna show them all, but just wanna show this one, the Quagsire V. I think that's cute, I don't know why Quagsire didn't make it to English, but 
you boys a fan of a good quagsire, so thought we'd just show that. And then the last little update from us, there is a Tinkaton GameStop promo. Uh, you can't really... Ugh, it, my face, my face is covering it, but it says available June 9. Free Tinkaton card with a uh, Pokemon purchase of $15 or more. So you can see there's a GameStop Tinkaton, it's got the GameStop stamp. When there's uh, higher quality pictures of this, I'm sure I'll show them. Apparently most GameStops still don't even have these in hand, so I don't know if anyone actually has these yet. No one that I've talked to at least. But yeah, it's the uh, artwork from Paldia Evolved, it's gonna have the stamp. The LeChonk stamped promo, they were all reverse hollows, but the Tinkaton, because Tinkaton was a rare, and it was regularly, regularly a holographic, we might see this just being a regular hollow with the GameStop stamp instead of a reverse hollow. And then uh, similarly, we might see a Best Buy promo, we might see an EB Games promo. If Best Buy has a promo, I'm not sure which artwork they're going to use, if they're going to stick with this one and then put like the regular stamp on it, and then if the UK has something, I don't know if that's going to be the same as the Best Buy one, or maybe one of them are going to use like the pre-release artwork, not 100% sure, so definitely going to have to report on the Tinkaton Master set like we did with the LeChonks, you know? We need that Master, baby. So that's about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know which of these you're collecting. I'm excited. Honestly, the, the exclusive stuff is what really has me hype. Like, the Tinkatons more than anything, just the fact that it's so niche and, like, there's not too much information because they're not as popular. Kind of need to collect them all, you know? All right. Take it easy, folks. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a good one.